I can't believe I'm on this stage. This is such an uh, amazing thing. I've been listening to this forever. And to be with you good people, thank you so much for having me. This is really great. St. Paul in February. That's a good agent. That's a good agent right there. And good job, everybody. Good job. Proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. All of you. Taking two hours away from the news to enjoy your life. Good for you. Enough already. Enough. Who knew we were going to have to take on that part-time job? As if we didn't have enough to do. You guys, with your up and down temperatures, 46, what, the, what pants am I going to wear? Do I break out the crock pot or not? What am I doing with my life? Oh, it's so hard being a person, isn't it? Isn't it hard? Did you know it was going to be this hard? It's hard every day. Just the physical maintenance of you. Just the brushing and cleaning and wiping, hopefully every day of you. It's like you're your own pet. And some people don't take care of their pet very well. You see them outside, their hair's all mangy, they look like they haven't been eating right. It's hard. Just the checklist of stuff you have to do to get out of the house. Look around, look, at, look around. No one's killing it in here. Myself included. And yet, to look like this took some doing. It's endless, isn't it? I was in New York this summer walking down 6th Avenue. A man's walking up. Businessman, perfect. Suit, tie, perfect shoes, matching his perfect briefcase, perfect glasses, perfect hair. Fly open, everything out. Just on his way to a meeting. I understood. I understood. He checked everything off on the list. Mix, missed that one box. Probably on his way back from a meeting, actually. No, that's the other thing. As an adult, no one tells you. No one cares about you. No one helps you out. When you're little, people would tell you, hey, zip up your fly and brush your teeth. Now, nobody. You just got to do it in your head like a crazy person because you're the only one that cares giving yourself little pep talks all day long. Got my keys, got my wallet, okay. Okay, got my keys, got my wallet, where's my cell phone? Oh, here we go, all right, we should have charged it, what's wrong with me? The only difference between you and a crazy person is they say it out loud on the street. <laughs> I got my wallet, got my cell phone. It's gonna be a great day. You're looking at him across the street, this guy's nuts. We don't yell like that. No, we don't. <laughs> totally alone. My iPhone turned on me. My only true friend in the world. It's starting to put all the photos in its own categories of its own choosing. It considers my fat face and my normal face to be two different people. <laughs> And there's more of the fat guy. We're all fat. Everybody's fat. We're all fat. And you know what? Embrace it. Embrace it. We've won. We've won. First generation in the history of mankind to have snacks everywhere, perfect temperature inside and out, carts just taking you every place you gotta go. Embrace it. Our reward are giant fat asses. That's it. You've done it. Congratulations. And don't beat yourself up about it. Oh, I gotta get to the gym. No, you don't. You're not going. It's unnatural. People, other generations were in shape, not because they worked out, because life was hard. Gandhi didn't look like Gandhi because he was killing it at Soul Cycle. Stop telling me what you're quitting. I'm quitting gluten. I'm quitting sugar. My wife, oh, no, you're not quitting sugar. She quit sugar all January. I'm quitting sugar. I'm never eating sugar again. Yes, you are. And you're gonna eat more of it because you're gonna freak out and <laughs> three o'clock in the morning. Not because you're a big fat pig, because you're a human being and you get sad sometimes and to stop yourself from slitting your throat, you have a cookie once in a while.
Embrace it. You're doing great. I don't care if you're a little chubby. I don't care. You looked awful yesterday. You're going to look awful tomorrow. I don't care. I love you. You're doing great. Focus on your own life. Watch the news. Stop it. Don't you have enough problems within your own home? I do. My family is nuts. Of course. That's what it is to be in a family. I think I have a mean girl. I think I have a mean girl. Yeah, I, I, I know. It's scary. I didn't know they existed, and now I've made one. <laughs> I feel guilty, you know? I feed it. I'm keeping it alive. I give it money. It's like I'm funding the terrorists. But what do I do? She's my kid. I can't tell how bad she is. I love her. I'm sure at some point Hitler's parents must have turned to each other like, he's a little weird, right? Yeah, he's weird. He's six. Who has that mustache? It's six. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. Give yourself a break. You always think you got to do more and achieve more. Stop it. You're doing fine. I haven't met any of you, and I know you're doing great. If you're listening to this, if you dragged your ass here to the theater, you have a little money in your pocket, a little free time, this is it. It's not getting better. You're peaking right now. <laughs> The culture tries to make you run faster. Stop it. You see people with fame and money. If I could be like them, what's wrong with me? If I could be like them, then I'd be happy. No, you'd be a mess. Those people are miserable. Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, two perfect people. Marriage imploding. Good. They deserve it. No, you don't put two perfect people in the same marriage. That's arrogance. That's not going to work. You want your marriage to last? You need a little funny looking in it. Seriously, you need to look across the table and think, where are you going to go? <laughs> when you're young and stupid, you think you want a supermodel. No, you moron. You don't want some beautiful woman asking to be taken to Europe. You want a girl with a crooked eye asking if you have jumper cables. <laughs> That's a keeper. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. Take care of yourselves. You'll be fine. Tom Papa!